must be an earth when the kingdom will be coming down. So it's very important. I'm tired, but I am rejoicing because when people come around, we have the true message. Brethren, don't play a fool of all the We have the true message. Young men, wake up. Young women, wake up. Because there's a race that we must run. And there's a victory to the world. It doesn't matter what's going on. One truth, one run, one faith, one baptism. And everybody has gone home worried in your mind. Showing that the Pentecost said, people, yes, you have the name of Jesus, baptized in the name of Jesus, but find up the testimonies and seal it all. And everything you have the words to back to the God. Sometimes you people preach it. You don't have words to back. But when you have the living word of truth to back up, hallelujah. I tell you the truth, I think I can go to Russia right now. I preach the message. I feel I don't believe I can stay no longer in church, stay down no all the It's time for us to rise and go. So as we can ask the pastor, the deacons, the evangelists, and uh, all the missionaries to pray over the water, then we will get the water, pour them into the basin. And we start to wash each other feet. Remember, in the meantime, the feet is being washed. We see consecration song on here. We dismiss the service. Hallelujah. You always give a this man. So we give God thanks for the night. We worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Are you ready to go with the last day's message? All who make up their mind for us to go with the last day's message. Hold up your hands. Let me see all the hands of the people that are ready for us to go with the last day's message. Let me see your hands. Let me. If you are not ready, are you not prepared to go with the message? What are you doing here? World War III is coming up very fast. Time of trouble, I explained to them the three war which would be the world commotion. World War II, 1914. World War I, 1914. World War II, 40 40s. And the last one, we don't want to worry. America will not be no world power. India will not be no world power. Russia will not be in your world power. None of the countries of the earth will be world power. But the church, as Daniel said, that the saints will possess the kingdom. We won't need any labor party or the people's national party because we will form the government. Come on with the message. What? So we will set up the kingdom. We will be the president and the prime ministers. And those that are in, in the set, set, uh, in the cabinet. So hallelujah. Morgan, be ready to take the message across. The daddy know it. Very good. Take the message in you and go across it. So really. You know, we sit here at times and when we are on the outside talking and having a, a good time out of the living tree, we need to come in. And I'm not going to stop as I live. You will be getting the message of truth. And if you go on the living tree, I'll be coming on the living tree. And I decide to have seminars. Amen. To get the message across to the nation. We need God said to me the other day. Arise and put my words in your mouth. Get up and go forth with the end time message. And you know, let me tell you something. I saw a very handsome 
young man. Sometimes you might say, Bishop Tom, but I have to talk. You can't have to talk. I saw a very handsome young man was standing right at the door there. And I said to him, What church do you attend? He said, Right now he doesn't attend any church. But I said, Where? Well, I said, Where well, are you living? He said, So many. And I said, Now listen to me. Try to come before the mercy of the Lord. And when I talked to that young man, you know, he was, you could see that he's very serious about his soul. You have other people on the outside there that are still there that need the word of truth. I want to get up and go for it. So God bless you all tonight. Very happy to see each and every one. And pray that the enemy will not rejoice over us to have no feet crippled. Because God has given power to the church. I'm going to sing for you right now. <laughs>